Super Mario, everyone's favorite red-clad, pasta-loving plumber of the Mushroom Kingdom. We all know Mario's deal by this point. He runs, he jumps, he stomps turtles to death. But there's one question that has gone unanswered since first the jump man graced our screens. Is he secretly ripped? I'm talking absolutely jacked. He may look like a squishy little meatball, but he is able to pull off some pretty impressive acrobatic feats. I mean, I'm no expert, clearly, but I feel like you gotta be in pretty good shape to be able to perform a triple jump with a flip while holding a massive drill. So today, I finally answer the question that I included in my intro as a joke a full year ago. How strong is Mario? Richard, hit that intro. Before we begin to answer this question, we first need to define what exactly strength even is. Is it how much weight Mario can lift? Is it defined by his muscle mass? Is it his resistance to breaking when exposed to a tensile force? Probably not that last one. My first thought was to try and find the heaviest thing that Mario has ever picked up and try and calculate the weight of whatever that thing was and define it that way. But then I realized that I'm a fool. Doing so would tell us how strong Mario is in his arms or his back, depending on his form, but this is a guy whose original name was Jump Man. They say never skip leg day? For my man Mario, what other kind of day is there? So today, we'll be defining strength as how much weight Mario can squat. This will give us a sense of how strong his leg muscles are, which are likely his most developed muscles. We're talking hammies, quads, calves, and glutes. I did that too long, that got weird. That got a little weird, didn't it? Now, as far as I know, we've never seen Mario bust out a couple reps on the squat rack, but we can pretty easily calculate how much he could lift by taking a closer look at his signature action, the jump. See, when you're jumping, you are really just imparting a force on the ground. And in physics, for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. Which means if Mario is pushing down on the ground, the ground will push back up on him in equal measure and send him into the air. The formula to calculate the force required to jump a certain height is fairly simple. The force is equal to the height jumped times the mass of the person jumping times the acceleration due to gravity. Now, luckily, we already know, uh, oh, well, actually, we don't, we don't know any of those yet. Huh. Well, starting from left to right, we need to find out how high Mario is capable of jumping. Now, this question is easier asked than answered, because we can't exactly bust out a ruler and measure Mario's hops. What we need is some sort of reference point, something that we know the height of to give us a consistent scale. This is a little complicated because across his many games there are loads of different art styles and perspectives. The only thing that remains consistent throughout is the man in red himself, Mario Jumpman Mario. If we know how tall Mario is, then we can calculate how high he can jump. According to Nintendo, Mario is officially 5 feet 1 inch tall or 1.55 meters. And this is a lie! Nintendo says that Mario is five foot one, but where is the evidence? Where is the citation? Miyamoto, where is the peer review? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we can do a little bit better than a random statement from the creators of Mario himself. We just need to find an instance where Mario is standing next to something 
whose height we know for certain. And for that, we're gonna have to hit the courts. Richard Balmy. <coughs> the NBA Streets series is your pretty standard basketball game from the early 2000s, with three-on-three -three arcade-style matches featuring famous real-life basketball players like Shaquille O'Neal, Michael Jordan, and in NBA Streets V3, they said, hey, what if we throw in famous real-life basketball player Super Mario? Let, let Mario play against Shaq. Because this game features real life people with known heights, we can simply stand Mario next to one of those players, take some pixel measurements, do a little cross multiply and divide, and we'll have a real scientifically backed height for Mario. There's just one problem. NBA Streets V3 came out for the GameCube in 2005. I never personally owned it, and apparently it wasn't crazy popular. So most of the footage on YouTube of this game looks like this. So getting a clean frame of Mario standing directly next to a player was nearly impossible. As it turns out, the only gameplay video with a high definition shot that I could use for this was from The Game Grumps, where they had Mario and the gang play against the world famous team, three copies of a custom character they made named Dave Dave. I mean, we work with what we got. Dave Dave stands at a total height of seven feet, seven inches. Using that, we can calculate that Mario stands at just under four foot three inches or 130.5 centimeters tall. We stand a short kid. Using that same method, we can grab a screenshot of Mario at his maximum jump height and calculate the distance from the ground to the bottom of his foot. And that is our first variable completed. Except, there's one more problem. See, Mario's featured in a lot of games, and it turns out that his maximum jump height is different basically every time. So in order to truly find the absolute limit of Mario's glutes, we need to find the game where he jumps the highest. And like I said, he's featured in a lot of games. Like, a lot. Like 277 games. To keep things simple, I'm gonna be limiting myself to just the mainline Mario game. So any of the 2D or 3D platformers, all right? You can't make me look at every single sport, RPG, Olympics, car race, party, vacation, paint night, colonoscopy, you can't make me do it. To keep things as consistent as possible, we'll only be comparing a standard vertical leap in each game, no special moves or anything. Also, across his various games, Mario can gain access to various power-ups and costumes that can improve his jumping abilities. In the world of sports, as I've been reliably informed, there is actually a word for this sort of accessory. Steroids! <laughs> yeah, man, it's pretty easy to jump real high when you literally turn yourself into a frog or a bee or a... A, f a flying raccoon dog? That one, I, yeah, that one I don't really get too much. For the 2D games, getting this measurement was pretty simple. The 3D games got a little trickier because I had to account for shifting perspective angles and stuff. Lakitu, my man, if you could hold still for just one second. But after a ton of measuring and converting, I got a list of the maximum jump height that Mario could achieve in every mainline game. And that, that is just step one. The next step, thankfully, is much easier. We just need to know the mass of a Mario. Based on my research, the average four foot three male weighs around 56 to 77 pounds. But Mario ain't your average male. He is the peak of physical achievement. Men, what is stopping you from looking like this? 
Based on my research, a bodybuilder can be upwards of around 50 pounds heavier than the average weight of someone their height, putting Mario somewhere around 127 pounds or 57.6 kilograms. Also, yes, technically in certain games, Mario can carry stuff when he jumps. Sometimes he's got extra accessories that would add to his mass. Uh, spoilers, but I tested out adding in a couple of these and they didn't really change the rankings at all. So to keep things simple, we're gonna be leaving them out. That's our second variable. Now we just need the acceleration due to gravity. This is the measure of the gravitational pull of a body or more simply, how fast you fall. Here on Earth, G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. But Mario isn't on Earth, is he? No, Mario's jumped in a lot of places, from the Mushroom Kingdom, to the cold vacuum of space, to the edge of a black hole. So, just like with the jump height, we need to calculate the acceleration of gravity, and we need to do it for each and every game. Thankfully, we already have most of the pieces we need to pull this off. We just need to use this equation right here. Any physics nerds might recognize it as one of the kinematic equations for linear motion. We're looking to calculate g, so we can simply rearrange this bad boy like so. h is the jump height that we just calculated. The only thing we're missing is t, the time it takes to fall from the apex of the jump back to the ground. Finding this is as simple as busting out a stopwatch and taking some measurements. And then we can find our G. Then we can simply plug all of that information into the jump formula that we started this whole thing off with and get the force required to jump a given height in newtons. We can then convert that into a more useful unit for us by simply dividing that force by 9.8, the acceleration due to gravity here on Earth. That'll give us a unit in kilograms for all my international viewers, and then we can convert that into pounds for everyone here in the US of A and our friends in Liberia and Myanmar. Shoutouts to any metric simps watching right now who are leaving a scathing comment at the very notion of having to convert anything ever. It took me like two seconds to do them to do all of these. It's really, we live in the age of technology, guys. It's not that serious. And with that, we have our answer. The total amount of pounds that Mario should be able to squat here on Earth for each and every game. I've included a link to the spreadsheet with all the data I collected throughout this video. I won't go through every single game here, but you can look at the full list down there. I do want to quickly highlight the two games at the bottom of the list though, Super Mario Bros. 2 and Mario Sunshine, where he's barely clearing 100 pounds or 45.8 kilograms. These are the only two games in the series where the gravity is actually weaker than the gravity here on Earth. Talk about weak sauce. I'm not one to roast. I haven't been to a gym since. Well, that's it. That's the end of the set. True story. I was going to have a bit in this video where I would compare my own jump height to Mario's, but I pulled a muscle in my back after just one practice jump, and now I can't move without it hurting. By jumping. But what I lack in physical prowess, I make up for with my ability to crank out a spreadsheet to answer a very dumb video game question. And with that, we have everything we need to finally answer this question. How much weight could Mario squat at his peak performance? For reference, the current world record squat is 1,306 pounds or 592.4 kilograms by 300 pound bodybuilder Brian Carroll. After crunching all the numbers, it turns out that Mario's greatest feat of strength is from Super Mario Bros. 3, where he's able to leap a monstrous 3.64 meters into the air, just under 12 feet, in a world with gravity over twice as strong as ours. 
correlating to a final squat weight for Super Mario of 955.97 pounds. An absolutely incredible feat, far more than most people could even conceive of lifting. And yet, it's still a full 350 pounds shy of Mr. Brian Carroll. Mario is strong, no doubt about it, especially for a man of his height. But he's not the strongest. Mario, my friend, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to rescind that title of Jumpman and give it to the true champ, Brian Carroll. If you're out there watching this video for some reason, Congratulations! You can officially tell people that you are stronger than this tiny Italian plumber. You're welcome. And with that, I think it's about time that I amend my intro, for we finally answered the question. Is Mario secretly ripped? Yes, without a question, that man's legs are absolutely shredded. But is he the most ripped? Not quite. That might be a little much to fit in the on the on the page. It might be it's a little clunky. We'll workshop it. This video topic was voted on by all my patrons, including Alakazam, Aspa102, Big Dog Tie for the Win, City In, Sherry and Mark, The Boss Killer94, and Alberong Freuden Selkin. 